So hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are today. My name is Denise Arminio. I'm a certified emotion code, body code practitioner and genius biofeedback practitioner. And um, we are going to be working with the genius. For those of you that are new to it, we will um, go through some training on it as well as do a demonstration. And I also have um, Claire McIntyre here with me, helping on the chat, answering any questions. So um, please feel free to put your questions in the chat area and we will get to them as soon as possible. Um, I am going to be working on the brain to continue uh, that theme to go along with what Dr. Deb is working on. Um, so, and then is there anyone who would, that has not already been a volunteer, been a volunteer? Um, Margaret, have you ever volunteered? Would you like to volunteer? Are you there? I can't hear you, Margaret, but um, Deborah, um, if you would like to be a volunteer, that I would love to have you. And so if you wanted to unmute, that would be great. Are you there? Yes. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I'm just typing in your name here. Hold on. <clears throat> Whoops. And I don't know. I'm just having... <laughs> Which here? And great. Okay, so for anybody that's new here, I just filled out all the information, um, the name, the date of birth. Um, and the gender, it is important that it is your like legal name that is used. It kind of works um, in the quantum field, like your AP address. Um, so um, just make sure that that information is accurate. And then once you've entered this information you and you continue with a new analysis, um, that information is stored in the genius as a client record. So if you have worked with someone already before, there is no need for you to re-enter the information here all the time because it will just, you'll be duplicating those client records. So if you've worked with someone before, you would want to go to access your client records and find their name there and then um, continue with the new analysis from within that section. So anyway, with that being said, um, Deborah, again, thank you for volunteering. Um, you are not on video. Are you aware? Do you, do you want to be on video? You're Oops. Now I am. There you go. Hi. I'm just going to quickly take your a screenshot here so we have it. And let me just add it to my photos. And I hope it went through. Okay, so um, we are gonna be working with the brain, but in addition to that, do you have any ailments like physical pain or emotional stuff currently that you would um, that we could work with to see um, if we can make any shifts or changes in those today? Yeah, I have um, a history of head injuries and I currently have neck pain on the right side and it's probably about a five and I until I sat down I had quite a lot of low back pain on the right and right now it's probably at a two lower back right as well so both sides on the right and like a two at a ten okay that's perfect 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 okay so with that being said I am going to on the bottom right hit continue with new analysis Okay, and this is where um, um, 
we would just put notes. These are for the client, I mean, the practitioner's notes. It doesn't have anything to do with the scan whatsoever. So, I mean, I can just add in here, um, head injuries, right neck and lower back, right? And the neck was five out of 10. And the lower back was a two out of 10. Okay, um, we could put stuff in here, neck pain. Um, and I'm just gonna hit done here. Okay, so um, I am just going to, I'll say three, two, one, begin. And at that point, I just want you to say your full name and to recite the vowels, A, P, I, O, U. And you can just repeat saying them until the 15 seconds is up. Okay, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, begin. Deborah Sykes, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. A E I. Great. Okay, so after we record the client's um, voice for that 15 seconds, I always like to um, play the voice harmonics and that's on the bottom left-hand side of the um, app. And what that does is it translates what you just recorded into a frequency and it works like a homeopathic. So it is um, beneficial to play that. So I'm just going to start with that right now. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to next. And continue. And now um, in within this avatar, I'm just going to click on it. And since I've already added um, the picture that I took to my photos, I'm going to hit existing photo. And, uh-oh, uh, sorry guys, my trackpad is <laughs> causing me a little grief. Um, hold on here. I don't know why that is happening. Okay, I have to do a workaround here. So I'm going to take a picture and now, just give me one second here. Um, hold on, sorry. Ah, oh gosh, guys, I'm really sorry. I'm having like a brain fart. I'm trying to take the picture with my phone and then I have to, okay, hold on. Now retake and I need, oh God. Okay. There we go. Finally. And now we get hit we get analysis. All right, and now we're just gonna hit continue. And so now this next part, the genius is asking us to put it, if we want to put in an energetic affirmation for entrainment, I always like to say yes here. The affirmation I use, like to use, now you can always use whatever you like um, to use, but the one I'm going to use today is all energies are transmuted into the free of your so it is 
Okay, and just hit okay. And so for anybody that again is new, what that does is the genius turns that written affirmation into a frequency and then that frequency is overlaid um, when all the other frequencies are being played. All right. So now the next thing I want to do here, um, because I have created libraries and I've also purchased libraries, I want to add them to um, the client record for Deborah. So in, for me to do that, I go to the top right corner where the three bars are. Those are called our navigation bars and I'll click on those and I'll go down to where it says libraries. And now I can add to client and I'm gonna select all and hit okay. And I'm gonna go back there again and go to my master branch and add to client and select all and hit okay. And now I'm just going to hit begin analysis. <laughs> Okay, so now the first thing I want just want to make sure that everybody understands is the what the numbers on the right hand side represent and the genius uses um, um, a value system that go, ranges from zero to 777. The range from zero to 100 is represented by the color blue. So you can see that here. And the this low range and um, the blue color is observed to be chronic energetic disturbances. And in Chinese medicine, you might, um, it can also refer to that as stagnant energy or under energy. We then go, the next range is 101 to 450 and that's represented by the color green from there we go to the ranges 451 to 688 and that's represented by the color yellow and then the final range is 689 to 777 and that is represented by the color red these freak frequencies are observed to be acute energetic disturbances. So they're happening now more in the present. And in Chinese medicine, that could be um, referred to as heat or inflammation and also over energy. Um, now, a lot of times when we're working with these frequencies, we can easily use a quick balance, which will look at um, just the reds and the yellow, uh, the reds and the blues. But often if we do um, a balance and we add items to the main hold tray, which is here on the bottom, we'd like to focus on items uh, that are 600 and above and 200 and below. And that does include some yellows and greens. And that is because when you get to the main hold tray in that tray, the genius uses algorithms um, where it looks at the relationship of all of the items in the tray. And often we see that these yellow and green items might actually become high priority once um, the analysis is done. So that is why we often um, add some of these other ranges in there. The other thing is if you see these um, arrows to the right, that means that there is information um, that it goes a level deeper. So for example, for Seveggio tones, if we click on that line, we see the list of Seveggio tones that are included in that panel. Now, before we get any further, I'm just gonna go in and take the um, aura picture. So I'm just gonna hit begin analysis here. <laughs> Okay, 
Um, so here we see um, what we what I like to look for is bright, vibrant colors. A lot of times when we see muddy or dull or just like pale colors, um, it could be stagnant energy. Also dark um, colors, if, like if they're black or gray or browns, it's again another sign of like either um, uh, interference or some... Um, you may want to look into your spiritual protection library just to clear out some of that in interference in there, or it could just be a lot of stagnant energy that needs to be cleared. So that is something I am, you know, there is this dark, the outer layer is a little bit dark and muddy looking. And overall, it's just a little bit muddy looking. So hopefully that we can work with that and clear some of that out today. So the next thing I like to do, um, and um, if you don't, uh, well, first I'm going to go to my custom libraries. I like to work with um, everybody on working on clearing the items in their bio field and adding in minerals and amino acids and vitamins um, if, because it just helps prime the body and gets it um, more prepared to take in the frequencies. I do have a library that I use that has all those things already in it, which I'm just gonna bring up here. And that's the vessel priming frequencies. And I'm just going to add all of these items to the main hold tray. There are about 156 of them. And I'm gonna hit play. And I'm gonna do this analysis. And please, I have my son my apologies. Um, okay, so I'm going to move the timer down to one minute and select all. And we're going to run all these frequencies for one minute. And let me just keep it there. Okay, great. So the genius has said that you have responded well, and you do have an average percent rectification, which is 49%, which is great. And again, I do like seeing that the harmony alignment and energy flow are kind of all within um, range together there. So I am just going to um, rescan this, and then I'm going to hit just run the highs for one minute. And I, you just have to excuse me while I ask my son to be quiet. Okay, great.
great and excellent. So Deborah, you have a great um, rectification again on this. So that really makes me happy. And I am now going to empty out the main hole tray. So you can go to the contents by hitting that little up arrow or chevron on the main hole tray. And although this little, um, it says clear all, and I'm just gonna hit that to clear it. And now the next thing that I'd like to do is go to um, what is called the general overview. And you get to the general overview by um, clicking on at the top, the system overview. And what that does is that's going to bring you to a page where instead of looking at all the items grouped by category, it will then look at all of the items and the genius puts it in um, numerical order. So it's no longer by category. And this allows you to look at everything where you're seeing all your highs and all your lows grouped together. Um, and now with the new update, it's really great because it also includes all of the libraries that you might have. So there's a lot of information that's included in here. So I'm just gonna hit begin analysis on the bottom. Okay, and I have a ton of libraries, guys. So the general overview here includes like tens and thousands of different items. So there is no way that we can possibly work with all of them. But the genius ha um, has included when you hit this plus button that you can add the top 50 and the bottom 50, which I always like to do. And then you can also um, remove the libraries. And at that point, I still, we're just looking now at all the items on the system overview page. And so now we can add the top 50 and the bottom 50 here as well. So if we're just looking here for you, Deborah, um, the, the spinal energy um, points L5 and C6 are showing up. Um, that would be more um, um, acute. So it's happening now. If we hit the, um, at the top where it says zero to 100, if we hit that, it will now give, give us all the bottom views. And so we see that there may be some sensitivity to electrical appliances, bladder point 43. We're seeing uh, the emotion of shame. That's a really common um, emotion for all of us. And you know, we, it's a, one of those low frequency um, emotions that you always want to work on clearing. Clearing um, shame from our body is um, a huge, huge, huge thing on helping to raise our vibration. And a lot of times, um, you know, those frequencies we can absorb, um, they can be passed down um, third generation. So it's always a good thing to, to look at all those. So anyway, with that, I don't know why I only have 199, even though I hit top 54 times, but um, I'm going to go to the begin analysis right now on the main hole tray. And maybe one of the items was a repeat item, so it didn't put it in. So that's probably why it's 199. There was probably an item that was listed with all the libraries. And then when I did the system overview, that would be my guess on there. So anyway, I am going to select all and again, run all of these for one minute.
Thank you. Okay, so that's 24% rectification. I am going to still rescan this. And then I'm going to select all ties and run that for a minute and see if we can set that rectification up on these. So that's much better. The percent rectification went up to 53%. And again, your harmony alignment and energy flow is, um, is relatively close together in there. So that's great too. So I'm going to, um, hold on, I just have to move these zoom controls. Back arrow at the top. And I'm going to open up the main hold tray. And again, just clear all of that in here and close it. And now that we're on back on the, the system overview page, we can just look at like today's stress and see what's bothering you today. I'm gonna go ahead and add these red items. And I'm gonna also add what's ever 600 and above here as well. And let's add your blue items and do everything 200 and below. So now every, anything that's red again is, you know, looking at things that's a disturbance um, right now. So it doesn't mean that it's a big issue for you, but for whatever reason, it's out of balance um, or harmony today. Um, the other thing I always like to add in to is, and to look at digestion, we can just add the line and by dropping the whole line, we add, we just added all the items in that library, but we could also just go and look at it. So we see the pancreas, mouth, and enzymes. Um, you know, your pancreas helps digest um, in digestion and has a lot to do with um, your insulin. And sometimes um, when the pancreas um, is showing, you know, being out of balance, um, in a more chronic level, sometimes um, in Chinese medicine, it, it said that um, it's the sweetness of life or you've lost the sweetness in life. So that again could be due to, um, you know, have some emotionally um, that's affecting that. And so I would also look at emotions when we bring things in, those are also very important to look at. So I am going to add in your neurotransmitters and um, let's look at your emotions in here and we can add the red ones, the blue ones, and we'll bring everything that's 600 and above. And let's go to your 200 and below. Now, it also doesn't mean that because we're adding these that you're experiencing all these emotions. Oftentimes, again, some of these emotions could be absorbed or sometimes um, 
we may be watching the news and emotions come up and maybe if you're feeling those emotions and they're just getting stuck and not passing through, which is why when we run these frequencies, it will help clear them out from your energy field. Um, so now we can back arrow. So now um, I'm just gonna go into the custom libraries now because I want to look at um, a pain library to work with um, some of your pain issues as well as work with um, the brain. So let's just go quickly to pain and I like using this library. Um, this library tends to be, have a lot of items in it. So it does chunk up quickly. And I'm just adding these that are in the 600s. It does get a little tedious at times when we're adding them line by line. And I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom and add the blue. And let's just see hip, back, neck. We have some hip again in there. So some of your point areas are showing up in there. Did you have a question, Deborah? No, I was just scratching my- oh, Okay, my <laughs> I saw you from the corner of my eye. I trying. did. Um, I did briefly wonder why acute pain could be chronic, but that's it is what it is. Oh, you mean like here, acute uh -huh. pain? Mm -hmm. Well, because again, you know, it's frequencies. So what's written in the library, it generates a frequency. So um, those are the frequencies that are um, resonating with you. Now, this particular one includes, you know, different hertz levels, but you know, we could have maybe things that we eat caused inflammation that day. So maybe it's part of that pain is just being acute where it's, um, it's not as chronic, you know, that's sometimes I don't, I, I wouldn't get so caught up in a literal for everything. Just the fact that it's picking up, um, the frequencies that are needed. I mean, just because it says frozen shoulder doesn't mean you have a frozen shoulder. It's not diagnostic in that sense. It's just identifying um, frequencies that are out of balance. I did have frozen shoulder about 20 years ago. So that might not, it may still not, like the energy of it may still be there or imprints of um, something there. Okay, so we have 146 items in the tray. Um, let's look at some muscles. Why did that not? Okay, back and neck. And I'm just going to add all of your back and neck, um, back and neck muscles in here. And we can do general. So I'm just adding all these just to make sure that we're not overlooking anything. And then we can also add in vessels and let's do head and neck. I'm just gonna include the reds and blues here. And, um, We could do the abdomen. Okay. And let's just say, sorry, ligaments.
So let's run this and hopefully this will help with your neck and back issues. And then we'll look at your at the brain. And I'll select all of these and hit play. So excellent. Again, here you had a 48% rectification. That is wonderful. Um, I want to rescan these and then we'll hit high and run those for one minute. And you just may want to move a little bit or shake your hands a little bit and just try to move some energy as these frequencies are coming in. to like C3 on the right side, um, but it's probably down to a two and I'm not feeling my back. Oh, amazing. That's great. It's good timing. I'm stressed because we're getting snow for the next week. And I'm, <laughs> so I'm anticipating a lot yeah. of shoveling. Okay, great. So you had an awesome 51% rectification here too. So that's really great. And I'm happy that um, your uh, some of this pain has subsided. I am going to clear this and um, then we can go, whoops. And we can look at Um, this optimizing brain function library that I have and that includes uh, so many different areas of the brain. So I'm actually going to select all of them for you since um, now what kind of brain injury and do you have any um, like long-term effects from it that you notice or? Yeah, I was um, thrown from a horse at four and a half. So like 60 years ago and I have a crack in my skull and I lost my sense of smell and then 30 years ago I had a whiplash accident um and remarkably I'm I'm not in pain most of the time so I think just you know the, the stress of being at the grocery store with other people who are like oh no <laughs> Well, I hear you. Well, let's um let's run the analysis on that and see if we can get it Okay. So let's run all the highs. I'm gonna run all the highs for one minute twice and then I mean all all of them for one minute twice and then just the highs for three minutes.
I can just read you like for the posterior hypothalamus. Can you hear me okay? Is, am I coming in loud yep. enough? Um, so that can has to do with sleep, arterial blood pressure, feeding pain, reward. Um, it could cause, you know, feelings of being cold. I don't know if you have any symptoms of that. Do you yeah, right now I'm actually cold. I didn't get to eat lunch and I did not sleep well. So, so there we go. And, you know, that's why that's showing up at, um, as one of the top items, um, just to look at what that second one is. Um, let's see here. Uh, so the um, hebanular, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so sorry. Um, that has to do with pain processing, um, reproductive behavior, nutrition, sometimes sleep and wakes, wake cycles, stress responses and learning. So again, there is some sleep and pain that is involved in that. So um, let's rescan here. Also, there was a question, um, I think by Charles. So just to answer, I think you were asking me what the difference is between the high, medium, low in the progressive insights versus when we see um, the red, yellow, green, and blue, like on the system main page. So basically in progressive insights, the genius is using algorithms here that's looking at the relationship of, of all the items together. And then, it's, and, and then it's determining what are the high priority, medium priority and low priority. That's my interpretation and how I work with it. Some people work with it a little bit differently. Um, it's slightly different than um, how it is on the system main page because um, this is more of a priority where the other is showing a range and telling you if it's a chronic issue or an acute issue. I hope that makes sense, Charles. Um, okay, so I rescan and I'm gonna select all again and hit play for one minute. The anterior nucleate, nucleus, this is part of the limbic system, and it's also involved in regulating the movement of the head in the horizontal plane, so neck. really well. I'm going to rescan and then we're just going to run the highs for three minutes. Oopsies. Oh, sorry. And that's, oh yeah, that's like to let it go. So I'd say I'm down to like one. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's excellent. Oh, good. I'm glad. Maybe you'll start warming up a little bit, hopefully. I am starting to warm up. Thank you. That's interesting. This is 
a great library, Denise. Is this one of those that you made up? Um, yeah, it is a collection. I'll be I'll be adding it to the list. I'm just been slow in getting them posted, but anybody interested, please let me know, um, and and I'll be getting getting it out there. So just email me at Denise at Inside Health Apps. So the, the average percent rectification is a little bit lower on, it's not as high. I am going, I'm just gonna hit um, rescan and I'm just gonna give you one, uh, one the highest one more minute and then we'll go to and work with some of the gems to ground you here a little bit. Kinesiology classes, <laughs> so um, that's where I've gotten collected. I have so many, so many classes that I've uh, collected a lot of information. Um, okay, so awesome. The average percent rectification um, is up to 41% here. So I'm really happy with that. So now let's just back arrow and we can look at your aura, which is dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we still, I mean, it's brightening up. There's still some interference in here. So I do want to um, just go into um, the gemstones and try to ground you here a little bit. So let's see if that helps. Um, I'm going to empty out this main whole tray. And I'm going to add the, also add the um, flower essences. Okay. 
And let's run these. I'm just gonna run all of all of them for one minute and hopefully that will. everybody else doing? Everybody feel like they're getting any frequencies today? rectification on here. So let's fingers crossed that your aura is looking a little better in Okay, so it's still some darkness coming in. I would just run um, Deborah later. Maybe you want to work on the spiritual protection library a little bit. Um, we could just run a quick, let me just a quick balance to get, whoops. <laughs> We did run spiritual protection before because that's included in the priming um, library that I did to begin with. And that would also come up any of these that were high when we did the general overview, but sometimes they just need a little bit more attention. So. Yeah, I've been noticing lately that all the, all the nastiest ones have been high. And they, I may not have even seen well, you know, it could be where, you know, sometimes where you're going, sometimes, um, you know, sometimes, you know, we could have portals open that they come in. Also, there's a lot of energy shifts, solar shifts that like release stuff. So sometimes it's just a question that we're clearing stuff and they're coming to the surface and that's why we're seeing them. Like they exist sometimes. I mean, we have like depending on what your belief systems are, but like with our past lives and things, you know, when we start clearing stuff, it's gonna come to the surface. Or if you're stressed about something, as soon as things are ready to clear, your subconscious brings them to the surface. So, you know, something may have just triggered you and things are coming to the surface. So, you know, it lets you peel that onion, so to speak. Um, Denise, are you playing all the frequencies in spiritual protection? I was doing a quick balance on that. So I was just running um, the blues and the reds. Um, I, I do work with them sometimes, Margaret, all of them, but since we covered them in um, the vessel priming and also in the system overview, I didn't pull all of them just now. I just, that's why I just did that. Ugh. And look at how much better that looks. 
<laughs> so sometimes it just takes that spiritual protection um, is really important to focus on. I mean, we could, you know, say that maybe in here a little bit there is, but that is a huge, huge, huge improvement from where you are at. So I hope um, um, you're feeling better and you'll continue to um, keep feeling um, good. But that's, I mean, there is so much healing in that aura right now. So yeah, awesome. I, I actually feel like my, it's not even 0.5 discomfort and that this anticipatory stress, which is, you know, until I have to shovel this snow, there's no point in being stressed, but it's hard sometimes to, to not be. And I, I just feel like this was perfect timing. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. And I love having everybody here every week. And um, so, yeah, and come back and bring friends with you. Let's, you know, keep growing this group. It's a great community and everybody that's in the group, their energy helps add to all these balances that we do. So I appreciate all of you. So thank you for coming. And thank you, Claire, who has been um, working the back channels here a bit, I can see today. And Donna, I hope you have all your issues squared away and have a great week. And I can't wait to see everyone next week. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye everybody. Oh, let me stop recording.